Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can convert pounds into stones and ounces and kilos. So on the top there, I've got an example with the formulas underneath, so you can see what I'm going to type when I do the formulas. So first of all, I've got pounds there. 154 pounds equates to 11 stones, 0 ounces. They're joined together in this cell using concatenate and the whole thing is as one as it says there using this formula and you can see it there so if I change that to 164 that should be 11 stone 10 it is 168 12 stone dead so it's working now the kilos is also working if when I change this I've rounded this down a bit, so if I just see that you've got quite a lot of decimal places there that I've removed, just so it shows it rounded up. It's totally up to you whether you want it rounded up or down, but if I put this back to 154, which is 11 stone, 0 ounces, that looks like 70 kilos, but again, if I add decimal places, you can see that it's not exactly 70 kilos, but I'll just leave it at that for now. So let's just come down here. Um, if I grab the labels, just copy those and paste them down below, we can redo the formulas and you can see how this works. So we'll put 154 in there again, so it's the same. Now, first of all, to work out the kilos on that, it, this is the formula, so it's going to be equals this cell divided by 2.2. 0462 if you want to be accurate obviously if you're not too fussed you can just go go to 2.2 tick that formula and we get this figure here and then this is where you remove the decimal places if you want just double click that so I need to get rid of some of them down to that one then I can bring that back now, to get the stones, I need to use this round down function and look at the formula there. That's what I'm going to do. So it's in this case, it's going to be B6. So the function is equals. So these examples haven't got the equals sign on, but they do need equals. So it's round down. And then it's asking you for that number. And then I need to divide that by 14. And I'll close the bracket on that one. Click the tick. And I get the 11. And if I go 168, I should get 12. And I do. I'll just undo that. Now to get the ounces, it's the mod function that I need to use. So it's equals mod. Open the bracket. Select the pounds. And then once the divisor, which is going to be 14, close the bracket, click the tick. And I get 0. If I go... One, five, six. I should get two, and I do. Now, to add those two together, I'm using the concatenation symbol as opposed to the concatenation function, and this is how that works. So it's equals, and then you just click on these two cells. So that cell, I want to join it together. So I'm going to put a, what I call a glue point. Then I want text with a space, and then the word stones and a space. And then another glue point, and then the ounces, and then another glue point, and then open quotes, a space, and then ounces, and then close the quotes. When you tick that, if it doesn't look right, you can come back and fix it, but it does look correct. So if I change that to 1, 4, 5, 10 stone 5, 10 stone 5 ounces. Now, you can only do this, obviously, if you've already got these separate formulas to pick out the stones and ounces. You just join them together. Or you can use a concatenate function to put them all together like this one. So that's what I want to do on this example. So it's still going to be equals. Now, the concatenate function, concatenate, open the bracket. Now we need to do the round down function. Round down. So it's still the same formula, divided by 14. 
close the bracket on that now we need to glue a glue point so we can put some text there and open open quote so I want a space and then the word stones space after that that's the end of that bit and then comma now the mod function so it's the same functions same formulas and everything so just go back to this one it's going to be a comma this time by 14 close that bracket close the concatenate bracket and then we need to glue it to the to the word ounces so the and sign open quotes do a space ounces close quotes click the tick and hopefully that works okay 10 stone 5 ounces if I go 167 press enter 11 stone 13 ounces 165 11 stone 11 ounces and 164 11 stone 10 ounces which is what I weigh at the minute so hopefully this little video was of use for you thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one